Hey YouTube, I'm back with another video. And this video, y'all gonna have to hear my crusty voice, but it's okay, I'm so sorry. But anyways, today's video, you're gonna see me transform this black wig into this blonde brown highlight wig. Um, I'm gonna show you guys the steps and everything and how I achieved this look, so just stay tuned. Alright guys, so these are what I use, the supplies I used. I got them from my local beauty supply store. Nothing bad, but I did two scoops of the bleach powder and then one and a half scoops of the developer, I'm pretty sure. But I had my cousin mix it for me. We realized that it wasn't the um, thickness we needed it to be. So we did add, that's when we add the other half of the developer in it. But basically, you're looking for like... Um, you want it to be thick but not too thick and then you also wanted it liquidy but you don't want it too liquidy um i don't know how to describe it but that's what i saw and that's what they said in the videos that i watched so yeah so here i was using a spray ball to spray the to wet the edges and like push the hair back so it didn't get in my way of like so it didn't get in the bleach way because you don't want to dye the actual hair but um yeah so that's what i was doing and then with got to be glue spray i decided well with the got to be glue spray i did spray the lace because i seen someone do it off youtube guys this was my first time doing this so i'm just doing what i seen youtubers and other people do and stuff like that i watched a couple videos and i took tips from each and every other um each and one of those videos so that's when i used so here you'll see me use a knife loki struggle using the knife to apply the bleach onto the lace and everything but i made it work and whatnot so yes so once you have applied the bleach on the lace frontal you're just gonna want to get some aluminum foil and place it on top of the bleach and leave it sit there for like 20 30 minutes but you want to constantly check it so you make sure you're not over bleaching the knots and you'll see what i mean about over bleaching the knots because i over bleach my knots Okay, so this is what I meant about bleaching, over bleaching your knots. So I over bleached my knots. I had left it, at this point I think it was like 25 minutes. So I did, I, I'm not gonna lie, I wasn't really watching it, but you know, it's all right because I fixed it. But yeah, so you're just gonna wanna rinse the bleach off with some water. I used hot water because I don't know, I just trust hot water more. So I use the hot water and then after you rinse it, you're gonna use purple shampoo and I use the shimmer light. You're gonna wash the lace and everything cause something about brassiness, I don't know. Again, YouTube was my best friend during this whole entire process. So I did shampoo it twice because you can never go wrong with doing things twice. But anyways, yeah. so like i told you guys i did over bleach my knots so i did have to go and get black dye just to fix the roots and i'm not even gonna lie this whole process was just so waste because i ended up dyeing the whole entire wig to the color it was already y'all will see that this whole entire process was a waste but i did it anyways because i was intentionally gonna do a black wig with highlights not actually dyeing the whole entire wig but it's whatever so i used the rat tail comb and i had put the dye there because knowing me i'm clumsy and i'm gonna make a mistake if i use the 
nozzle from the dye bottle i was gonna mess up the lace and i did not want to do that i didn't trust myself so i decided to use a rat tail comb and doing that was much easier like i didn't die over dye the knots or whatever it was just it was good using that so i recommend that you know mm -hmm. yeah so yeah so i did that um to the whole front wherever the bleach was wherever it was brown where it wasn't supposed to be brown i just did that whole process and whatnot and achieved my look so yeah I applied the dye on the hair I had washed it and everything and I used the conditioner that they gave me that the box I gave me and I applied the conditioner and everything and I achieved this look and this is how the hair looked after I fixed it with the black dye and it looked nice like I did that who did that I did for my first time yup but anyways so I had let the air the air I had let the hair dried for like an hour or something and then I started plucking the front, you know, giving it the more natural look. You know, because you don't want your you just don't want that straight look. No, you want it to look natural. That's what we were achieving. We were achieving a natural look. So yeah, I started plugging and you're going to see at one point in the video where I do have my iPad next to me because I've never plucked away before. I didn't know what I was doing. So I need to follow someone off YouTube, but I got the hang of it. So yeah. So in this clip, I'm achieving the highlights look. So I did start from the back and I started from the bottom track. And then after that track, I would, I think I skipped one, but I would do every other track. So I would either skip a one, one or two tracks and then the, the track above that one would be the highlight. Cause I didn't want too much highlights, but I wanted like, an, I wanted an even amount of highlights in my hair because at this point I was still thinking I'm doing just a highlighted wig i didn't think i was gonna like bleach the whole wig so yeah i had my cousin help me with this because i even okay first at this point i did not have a wig stand so doing this on the counter it was just so hard Two, this process was just taking too long like it had to be one something and we were still doing this and i had to take my cousin home and i had work the next day so i just had my cousin help me because i needed to speed up the process you know 
because the girl was tired and she was just over it and like my mom needs to use the bathroom and everything so but yeah it wasn't bad because we finished it and whatnot all right so i didn't record the process of me bleaching the whole hair the beach the beach bath but basically with an aluminum pan i poured the rest of the bleach that we used for them highlights with hot water and then i drenched the hair and made sure it was evenly coated with bleach so it could actually bleach and stuff like that to achieve the look the final the final look Okay, yeah so you'll see this is how the hair came out when everything was done i was really happy like i didn't think it was gonna come out right but i didn't think it, i didn't think it was gonna come out good to be honest but it came out really really nice and stuff like that y'all see you're gonna see a video of me installing the actual hair and everything so stay tuned for that and everything <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,